It's been a great week in the tech industry, but let's dive into one of the biggest and perhaps the funniest tech dramas of the year. You've probably heard of Dbrand if you're watching YouTube on a regular basis. They sponsor numerous YouTube channels like Linus Tech Tips and MKBHD. But they also worked with Zach from Jerry Rake Everything. And if you know who he is, you know he loves tearing down tech. So he's no ordinary guy for them to sponsor since they also worked with him to create these tear down skins, which essentially show off what's inside of your phone. These skins start as scans of bare phones and then they put a ton of work into them to make them visually appealing. They even put some easter eggs to make them unique and interesting. One of the biggest easter egg is Jerry Rig Everything's catchphrase glass is glass and glass breaks, which can be found on the teardown skin for the Samsung S23 Ultra. Now enter Casetify, another big player in the phone case game. When they saw the teardown skins, they probably thought, hey, that's a great idea. And they rolled out their own version of the teardown skins and named it Inside Out. Competitions are always great, right? But here's the plot twist. Instead of creating something new, they straight up copied D-Brown's designs and they did not do a great job in hiding it. Remember Jerry Rig Everything's catchphrase? Well, you can also find it on their case for the S23 Ultra. There's even a very tiny and blurry D-Brand logo on their skins. And here's the thing. Turns out this is not a one-time thing for Casetify as they also snatched x-ray shots from iFixit for their x-ray cases. Now, D-Brand doesn't just call out Casetify. They're suing Casetify for a large amount of money. They should since it's straight up theft. Meanwhile, Casetify is in full damage control mode and it's quite funny that they went so far as to claim that they've always been a bastion of originality. But let's be real, if you have to say you're original, you're probably not. In the end, this drama isn't just about phone cases. It's a reminder that in the tech world, some competition is all good. Like, we all know a lot of companies copied the idea of the AirPods and we're fine with it, especially ones that improve or provide better features for certain people. But at least don't replicate your competitor's work and claim it as your own. On more positive news, Google's latest venture in Nevada is igniting the renewable energy sector with its innovative geothermal energy project. As a part of their ambitious clean energy by 2030 goal, this project is more than just a show of eco-friendliness. It's a significant leap towards sustainable energy use. The project taps into the natural heat of rocks in Nevada. So they create rocks in these hot rocks, then water is poured into these cracks where it turns into steam. This steam then spins turbines, therefore generating clean energy. This small project already generates 3.5 megawatts of energy, enough to light up more than 2,600 homes. It's currently being used to supply power to Google's data centers, but it's also setting the stage for future expansion and setting a great example for other companies. This real and actionable environmental change, a shift from merely compensating for pollution to actively reducing it. Last but not least, a lot of you already know this, but Spotify Wrapped 2023 is here. Of course, YouTube Music is also giving their users one, and for the first time in a while, Apple is back with a music replay. Now, if you want to see your Spotify or YouTube Music highlights, simply open your app or your account in your browser and it usually pops up. Simple. But if you use Apple Music, you need to head to this page so you can see your stats. But can't a trillion dollar company just implement this in their app? But anyway, which artist do you listen to the most? Comment down below. Before we go, please consider subscribing to my channel for more weekly tech news just like this one. But until then, stay safe. I'll see you in the next video.